Yeah, so there are several stages in the milling process and I'm going to talk about two of those stages to start with. First of all, I'm going to talk about pre-cleaning and then I'm going to talk about conditioning. So pre-cleaning is a very important part of the process and it involves once the wheat has been received into the mill, we need to move any impurities that are going to affect the food safety and the quality of the final product. And we use various types of machinery in the pre-cleaning process. Some of those machines will remove impurities based on their size, based on their shape. Um, we use magnets in the process, so any metal, any other foreign materials like brick or stone that may have been picked up during the combining process because we have to bear in mind that wheat is a natural product and it is grown out in the fields. So moving on from the pre-cleaning, we now condition the grain. And conditioning is a very, very important step to ensure that we have a clear separation of bran from the starchy material. And the starchy material is the endosperm and that is what we're going to mill into flour. So conditioning involves several processes. First of all, we need to ensure we've got the right degree of moisture that we're adding to the grain. So we set a target into our conditioning process and water is automatically added to the wheat berry to help separate and mellow the bran skin and to ensure we get the right moisture value into the endosperm itself. And why do we do that? Well, we have to bear in mind that the customer has a functional specification that they need the flour to achieve. And by using conditioning appropriately, we will achieve that specification. So as well as adding the water to the grain, we then allow the grain to settle in conditioning bins for a predetermined period of time. Um, and that time may be a little bit longer for imported grain, or it may be a little bit shorter for UK homegrown wheat. Following conditioning, the wheat is then brought together in a grist and enters the milling process. Yeah, so the, the conditioned wheat enters the milling process, and the first stage of the milling process is the brake system. As the name implies, the brake system breaks the wheat open. It's done over five or six stages where we, we gradually release the endosperm by grinding it in a specific manner. The endosperm is the white portion of the wheat that will be eventually turned into flour. The brake system will generate bran once the endosperm has been removed and there will also be some wheat germ that will be taken off later on in the process. Once the brake system has, has released the endosperm into the, the mill, the endosperm is purified and starts to enter onto the, the reduction system. The reduction system comprises of uh, 10 to 12 reduction passages where we gradually grind the endosperm into flour. We don't do it on one hit. The idea with gradual reduction is we are gentle and so we're not damaging the, the, the quality of the flour by heating it up too much. The flour is then collected in flour collection screws and from there it'll be transferred onto uh, onward processing and, and flour silos. A flour mill is different to a normal factory in that its configuration is it's stacked into different levels. And the, re the reason why it's done that is it means that it can use less space and it also means that we can convey product around by gravity and uh, pneumatics, which is blowing and vacuum. That makes the whole process more efficient. If we didn't use that and we tried to build the flour mill on one level, it would be, it would be huge. So by, con by condensing the flour mill and making it a stacked structure, it means we can utilize gravity more efficiently. The, the, the main concern with flour is that we ensure that we, we take out the chance of any foreign bodies getting to the customer. And in the flour mill, that's mainly about redressing and, and sieving as, fi as finely as possible to ensure that the flour doesn't contain any foreign bodies or anything that will be of a, a problem to the customer. <laughs>